church come to order, and then we can stand for our praise and worship. Amen. Our scripture this evening will be coming from Proverbs chapter 4, starting at verse number 4. Proverbs chapter 4, starting at verse number 4. Amen. Amen. And the scripture, and the scripture reads, He taught me also and said unto me, Let thy heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Amen? Amen. 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 We read Proverbs chapter 4, uh, verses 4 through 7. May the Holy Spirit have, uh, give you revelation of his word. May he bring it to your remembrance in the days to come, and may he help you apply it to your life. Amen? Amen. Bow our heads for prayer. Father God in heaven, we just come before you now in the name of Jesus, Father. And we come thanking you, Father, because this morning you woke us up when we didn't have to, Father. Father, we just want to say that you are worthy of all praise, all honor, all glory. Mm -hmm. Father, there's nothing that you don't already know about us. Therefore, Father, there's nothing that you don't tell us that you don't already know what the outcome is going to be. And all we have to do is just believe and follow what you say, Father, and pray, Father. That's what you want us to do, pray. Pray to you for instructions on how to live, what to say, who to say it to, Father God. Father, we're just asking, Father, that you just keep us. Keep us in your providential care, Father. Yes, Father. Father, we 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 don't know uh, what we're supposed to pray, Father God. But through the Holy Spirit who speaks to you through us, Father, through our Lord and Savior, Father, you hear us, Father. Thank you, Lord. And we're thanking you. We're thanking you for being the God that never fails. The God that's always on time, Father. The God that sent his son to the cross for our sins, Father. And we just thank you. We thank you for Jesus Christ. Because him that knew no sin, he became the sin so we could become the righteousness. That's right. So we thank you, Father. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that you sent to be our teacher to Show us how to do whatever it is that you have called us to do. Father, through Jesus Christ, Father, we have a reprieve, Father. And we just thank you, Father. There's no other God that can do the God, that can be the God that you are. There is no other God, Father. Just you and you alone. Bow and say thank you. Father. Thank you, Father. Father, we just ask that the word that you have put in dish and mouth for this night's Bible study, Father, that it will hit on fertile ground, on good ground. Yes, Lord. Let it let it penetrate, Father. Father, let us receive it and then apply it to our lives, Father. Father, we just ask that, Father, that those that that's on their way, Father. We pray traveling mercies, Father. For those, for whatever reason, that can't make it, Father, we just also pray mercy for them too, Father. Father, we just pray that those that are watching by social media, Father, that that word that they hear this night, Father, will do something to them, Father, that will cause them to cry out, what must I do? Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the works of your hand. Forever I'll love you, forever I'll stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you.
Hallelujah, Jesus. I don't know how to get close up. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. God, we thank you so much. Jesus, we thank you so very, very much, Father, for that song. We thank you so very, very much for that song right there. Nothing compares to the promise that we have in you because all of your promises are yea and amen. Yes, God. According to the Spirit that worketh on the inside of each and every last one of us. Thank you so very, very much, Father, for, for creating the, the atmosphere, allowing us to create the right kind of atmosphere. Thank you, Father. For your presence. Thank you for your presence being made known in our midst tonight. You say what two or three gather in your name, you're surely in the midst. And anything that we touch it as a grin, the Heavenly Father would make those things happen for us. So now your people are here, y'all, and we are touching and agreeing together. Not just those of us who are in this room, but those who are also who are viewing by social media. We are standing together as one right now, Father. One for each other, praying and interceding for each other right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to study the word of God, to show ourselves approved under God, workmen who need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Thank you for your Holy Spirit that is our teacher, our leader, and our guide into all truth. Your word is a lightning lamp to our path and to our feet. And so we thank you for the illumination right now. Thank you for every revelation, <coughs> every insight that you're going to share with your people. Make all the mysteries known to your people tonight. I come against anything that will be a hindrance or a stumbling block. Anything that will cause your people not to be able to focus. I cast those things out now in the name of Jesus. Touch every spiritual eye and spiritual ear so that we can all hear and see what the Spirit of the Lord is saying and revealing to the church in this hour. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Soldiers in the army of the Lord, please and all. This, this is, is my weapon. weapon. I am armed and dangerous. Look out, devil, the fight is on. Amen, amen. Uh -huh. You may be seated. What fight are we fighting? We're fighting the good uh -huh. fight of faith. Fight of faith. Hallelujah. Welcome again to those of you who are here in the building, and those of you who are viewing by social media. We thank God and we give him glory and praise for you. I pray that you will just set this time aside and focus on what it is that we're going to be discussing in the Word of God tonight. Hallelujah. I promise you, if you pay attention, you'll get exactly what you pay for. God will not let you down. <coughs> Thank you, Lord. We're still dealing with the subject of prayer prepares me. Mm -hmm. We're still dealing with that subject, Sister Elaine. I'm so, I'm so grateful. That God is taking his time. Say, take your time, Lord. Take, take your time, Lord. So take your God time, Reverend God. is taking his time and talking to us about how prayer prepares me. It gets me ready. It keeps me ready, Brother David. And so last uh, evening when we were together, we dealt with uh, prayer prepares me. We were talking about, uh, we was in Jan uh, John chapter 11. And there's some things that God had me to write down and to say to us. He said the question was, if it hadn't been four days already, then we wasn't ready for him to show up and move in the situation. 
All right. He said if the situation wasn't stinking, Reverend, then we wasn't ready for him to move in our situation. All right. He said the prayer, the prayer you prayed, he said, how long ago was that prayer? He said, well, soon, he said, well, he will show up when it's time. He will show up when it's time. God is never late. Never. But he's always on time. On time. He's always. never early, but he's always on time. And we took a look in John chapter 11. I want you to go there because we're going to spend some time in John chapter 11. We're going to look at this again and, and, and find out some other things. There was reasons why. We saw that there was reasons why he didn't show up, Reverend Stevenson, when they wanted him to. We we discovered uh, the, that, uh, that, that they had set up a prayer. They had made their prayer and supplication known to the Lord. Because they sent the messenger to Jesus, so this was them sending their prayer up. Mm -hmm. And so they were making their prayer and their supplications known unto God. And so he showed us why it was that he didn't come when they wanted him to. First of all, he said the situation was not unto death. That's right. Mm -hmm. And by saying that, Reverend, he was saying that it's not as important or, or dire as you think it is. It is not unto death. And the death he was talking about, Reverend Stevenson, though, was it death. wasn't unto eternal death. Right. Not only was it not unto eternal death, but it wasn't even in the physical at the place of death. He said the only person know where life begin and end is him. Mm -hmm. He said even though, he said this, is, this was powerful to me, we don't know when life started. We don't know when it ends. That's right. We are looking for signs. God don't need signs to show us. We, if the, if the heart stops beating, we think life is gone because right. that's what life is to us. Mm -hmm. Breath and the heartbeat, a pulse. That's life to us. If we don't feel a pulse, then a person is dead. Mm -hmm. But not necessarily so. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily so. What God was saying, what the Lord was saying to the disciples was, this is not a place to where I can't bring him back from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is not a place I can't bring him back from. So this is not unto death, so it's not as important as you make it. Thank you, Jesus. The next thing he said was it wasn't at a state to where God would get any glory out of it. Come on. It wasn't in a state to where God could get any glory. And the last the, the last reason he said he didn't come is because he loved them. Mm -hmm. It was because he loved them. Mm-hmm. And so, and so he had me to write this down. He said, prayer prepares me to wait on the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. All right. He said, right. prayer prepares me to wait on the Lord. Why? Because, watch this now, prayer is a seed. The scripture says in Genesis, as long as the earth remains, there will be seed, time, and harvest. And so when we pray, watch this, I pray and then I give God an opportunity to move. That's right. I pray and then I give God an opportunity to move. And then he said this, Reverend. Watch this. I pray. A, a, a prayer prepares me, watch this, to wait on the Lord. Watch this. <clears throat> it, it prepares me to wait on the Lord and then it prepares me, watch this, it prepares me for the response of God. Mm -hmm. It prepares me for however God is going to respond to me. This is important that we we went back over this because I'm getting ready to take us somewhere. I need you to pay attention to I'm getting ready to go here. I'm going to show you something. We're going to start at verse number 1 in John chapter 11. Start at verse number 1. We'll read to verse number 15. I'm going to point some things out here. And then we're going to go, John, we're going to go to Mark. Chapter 5. We're going to look at some stuff in Mark chapter 5 uh, where, where Jairus sends his prayer up. He makes, he prays for healing for his daughter. Pray for me, Reverend. He prayed for healing for his daughter. And in the midst of him praying for healing, uh, he asked the Lord to go with him. The Lord said he will go with him. In the midst of God going with him to heal his daughter, watch this. A uh, servant of his come and say the daughter, the, the child is dead. Stop bothering. Stop praying for this because the daughter is dead. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Stop praying because the daughter is dead. Oh. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says something to him. Jesus tells him, don't listen to what you hear. Mm -hmm. 
You keep believing this is going to help somebody mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because prayer prepares me. We ain't there yet. We in John chapter 11. Mm -hmm. I just made reference to Mark chapter 5. Let's start. Listen to what it says. Start at verse number 1 in John chapter 11. We started here before, but we're going to start here again, John. Listen to what it says. Now a certain man was sick. Recall, a certain man was sick named Lazarus of uh, Bethany, the town of Mary and his sister Martha. Watch this. It was that Mary which anointed the Lord with oil and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was sick. Okay, so we know he's got a sickness. Mm -hmm. He's got an illness. He's got a disease. There is, watch what it says in verse 3. Therefore his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Say the prayer just went up. Come on. The, the prayer, prayer just went up. up. Watch oh, this now. Wow. This is prayer. This is prayer. We have to be able to see that this is prayer. Watch this now. And she's looking for a response from him. Mm -hmm. She's looking for a specific response. Watch this. She wants him to respond the way she wants oh, him to. Right. But he's not going to respond the way she wants him to because watch this now. He do everything that's pleasing to the Father. And he don't respond the way we want him to is because we have no idea what we're asking. We have no what no idea of the implication or the complications that would cause that would be caused in our life if he's to respond to us the way we want him to. He responds the way he do because his thinking and his ways are higher than ours. We go about what we think and about what we feel, but he go by what he know. Hallelujah. He responds according to what he knows and not according to how we feel. Mm -hmm. Verse number four, look what it says. When Jesus heard, so watch this now. So her prayer made it to heaven. Mm -hmm. Say it made it to heaven. It made it to heaven. Her prayer made it where it needed to go. It reached God. He heard the prayer. Watch this now. When he heard that, he said, watch this. This sickness is not unto death. But for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. Mm -hmm. Notice now, the sickness is purpose. Remember the blind man, remember the boy who was born blind? Right. Yeah. Who sinned, his mother or his parents, that he is born blind? And the scripture says, no, this happened because so that God can be glorified. Mm -hmm. right. This sickness was not unto death, it was so that the Son of Man could be what? Glorified. So he don't come because if he comes with a calling, he will not be glorified. He will not get any glory out of it, and it won't be to your advantage for him to come. This is going to be good. Watch now. Watch now. Watch now. Verse number five. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So he loved them. Mm -hmm. it, it wasn't because he didn't care about them that he didn't come. It wasn't the right time to come. When he had heard, therefore, watch this, that he was sick, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. He stayed there two more days, Reverend, in the place where he was. He didn't go and do something else. He stayed where he was. It wasn't nothing stopping him from going. It wasn't nothing else. He stayed where he was. Why? It wasn't time for him to leave from where he was. Yes, one time. Now watch this now. Timing is everything. It's, it's everything. Watch this now. Verse 7. Then after that, said he to his disciples. Now watch this. He hears the prayer, but he don't say nothing to her. He talks to the disciples, and he explains to the disciples why he's not going. He's teaching the disciples, you don't respond to man, you respond to God. We're not here pleasing people doing things. You respond to God. Watch this, David. This is what he said. Then after, now he just spoke. Then after that, he said unto his disciples, he said, now let us go unto Judea again. This is somewhere he had been before. He said, let's go there again. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. His disciples said unto him, watch this, master. The Jews of late sought to stone thee. And going thou hither again. Uh -huh. He said, hold on a minute. They tried to assassinate you there. Your life was in danger there, and you going there again knowing how they feel about you? Come Watch on. this. It's not about how they feel. That's right. right. And it's not even about how I feel. Mm -hmm. Because, watch this, I'm doing things so that Scripture may be fulfilled. Come on, John. That's good. Just, just real quick, that, the verse, when we looked at verse 6, um, uh -huh. you, uh, uh, Holy Spirit had to make, make the statement of, you don't respond. 
respond to man, you respond, you respond to God. Mm -hmm. Well, we understand that the individual in this particular <coughs> situation were very e emotional. Right. And it's amazing how we talk about don't be led by by emotion. Right. We think about ourselves, but we also have to consider how often we're led by other people's oh, emotions. Exactly. And so. I think we're led by other people's emotions yes. just as much, yes. if not more, more so. than our right. own. Right. You know what right. I mean? Right. That, Somebody cry, and yo, yeah. now I gotta adjust to, right. to they crying. You know right. what I mean? It's right. like, well, right. let's let's be honest. Tears have never meant genuineness anyway, or, no, or whatever, right. right? You know, so right. it's right. it's it's the the realization of when we talk about being led by emotion, it's not just our emotion; it's right. other right. people's emotion as well. Exactly. And you, and you got to be able to to stay in the spirit in the to spirit, where that sir. flesh right there right. don't don't throw you off, right. and stay in the spirit to where you can hear God through mm -hmm. the emotions of yourself. And and exactly, that's a good point because here's the deal what God had me say to us last week. You cannot respond in the flesh. Jesus is not going to respond to flesh and Jesus is not going to get in the flesh. You're in the flesh, but Jesus is not going to let you pull him in the flesh. God is never going to be in the flesh. Mm. And he's not going to respond to your flesh because that's what your emotions are. That's good. God is, uh, Jesus is always in the spirit. Okay. He's always going to, and he's going to do everything to keep you in the spirit. And watch this now. It's important that you don't do things when you're in your emotions. Amen. Nothing. Your emotions will get you in trouble. It'll cause you to do things that you shouldn't be doing. And your emotions will cause you to do things that will cause things to be worse than they were. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we got to do is come out of the flesh. Mm -hmm. My emotions. Come out of your emotions and your feelings. That's so that you can respond correctly. Right. And that's why Jesus, thank you, Spirit, I will say it, thank you so much for that. He said, this is why he stayed still. Right. Mm -hmm. Because watch this now, he loved oh, them. That's what he right. said. Right. And he stayed still so he could collect himself. This is the man. So he collect himself, Sister Elaine. So he don't move in his emotions. Because watch this, they make it clear. Listen, we're not talking about anybody. We're talking about somebody that you love. And even and because I love you, I'm not moving right now. Mm -hmm. I got to listen to my father and respond according to the way my father wants me to respond. Because watch this now. Watch this now. I'm in the flesh too. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm in the flesh too. And we see the garden of Gethsemane. Jesus was in his flesh. Mm -hmm. Y'all come and pray for yeah, me. But I'm That's not letting right. it be in control. But watch this right. now. But what he says, though, nevertheless, not my will. That's right. Mm -hmm. it's but thy will be done. And so situation uh -huh. and be God, right? Mm -hmm. And put them into God's hands, yeah. right? So I think about like whenever like I was a, a young adult living out on my own and things like that, there might have been a situation where I might have called y'all and, and needed your help or whatever. Mm -hmm. And or, or and maybe the situation may have had y'all a little emotional or made y'all feel a certain way because, well, my baby is hurt, <laughs> right? At the end of the day, like no matter how grown I am, I'm still your child That's and right. there's, there's a way you feel about it, right. right? So what happens is when you sit back as my father, right, mm -hmm. and not react. Now I have now now I can see God moving the situation right. mm -hmm. as opposed to oh uh, my dad, dad saved me exactly. again or exactly. whatever, right? right. So exactly. it, when we when we stop to collect ourselves, we allow God to step into the situation. Mm -hmm. Whether we verbally say God, I needed to step right, in, right, 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 right? right. It, it, it takes a, it takes us to the place where we don't move to where God can step into the situation. He can do whatever he's going to do. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, again, like we mentioned before, it's all about him getting glorified. That's right. He, he gets all the glory. The yeah. the right. the Nobody shares that glory. Yeah. Right, right. Let me, let me give you a short testimony right quick uh, the, 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 pertaining to this. My brother uh, sent me a, a text and said he needed some finances. And when he, sent the, when he sent it to me, of course, I'm thinking about, okay, Lord, let me, let me talk to the Lord and see. I never respond to him. I talked to him and the Lord said, it's not for you to do. 
He said, it's mm -hmm. not for you to do. I talked to my brother. It's been a little time since he sent the text. I talked to him, and he told me, he said, he said, yeah, I sent you a text about needing some finances. He said, you didn't respond to me. He said, but God stepped in and did it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, the Lord stepped in and did it. Yeah. You see, that's what that's what stepping back will do. Mm -hmm. Because we want God to be seen. Yeah. We don't want to be seen right. anyway. We want God to be seen. We should, right? And so we need to <laughs> get out right. of the emotion because watch this again. He makes it clear this is somebody you love. We're not talking about strength. We're talking about somebody right. that you love. You love. Yes. Watch this because the one you love is the quick, the one to quick to pull you away that will pull you, yeah. you see what I'm saying, out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. If you don't collect yourself. Watch this now. Watch this now. We're going we're gonna to read verse 8 again. His disciples said unto him, Master, the Jews uh, of, of late sought to stone thee, and goeth thou thither again? Here's verse 9. Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in a day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not. Watch this. Because he see the light of, his, of this world. In other words, he can see where he's going. Right? But if a man walk in the night, he stumbled because there is no light in him. Mm. Y'all see that? Mm. Because there's no light in him. Now watch this, verse 11. These things said he, and after that he said unto them, watch this, our friend Lazarus sleepeth. Yeah. Watch this, but I go that I, that I may wake him out of sleep. Hallelujah. Notice what he said, uh, that I may wake him out of sleep because when we look at the when we look at the word of God when the when the scripture speaks about the the, the death of the believer it speaks to us in the uh, of sleeping right right okay right watch this now and so watch what he said in verse twelve then then said then said his disciples Lord if he sleep watch this he shall do well how be it Jesus spake of his death but they thought that he has spoken, he's spoken of taking of rest in sleep. Mm -hmm. Now there's two kinds of sleep. There's a sleep in rest and there's a sleep in death. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. Then said Jesus in verse 14, then said Jesus unto them plainly, Lazarus is dead. dead. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. To let them know. To let them know, Lazarus is dead. Watch this. Physical. But this is still not unto death. 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 Come on, sir. Right. You see that? This is still not unto Death. Yeah. Because watch this to be absent from the body is to be present. Come on, somebody. Right. It's to be present with the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. And Lazarus wasn't just any person. Lazarus was a believer. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch this. Verse 15. And I am glad. Listen to what he say, John. And I am glad for your sake. Come on. And I was not there to the intent ye may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Mm -hmm. Notice what he said. He said, it's good that I can go because, watch this, because God wants to get you to another level of believing. Thank you, Lord. Increase my faith. He want to increase your faith. He want to get you to another place. He don't respond to you when you want because he want to get you to another level of believing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And if God was to rush to you every time you had a need, you wouldn't learn how to believe. You wouldn't no grow in your faith. Mm -hmm. Delay don't mean deny. Thank you, Lord. He said, so watch this again. So he said, I am glad for your sake that I, I was not there. To the intent you may believe. He said, now nevertheless, he said, let's go. <laughs> let's go on to him. Let's go to him now. Notice, notice what he like what he does. Notice what he do. Jesus takes his time. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, what he do is he want us to see things the way he see it. I want you to see things the way I do. Stop looking at things the way you look at it. Look at it the way I look at it. Take your time and examine the situation. Is this unto death? <coughs> Is it really a sticky situation, a stinking situation? Is it? How long has it been? If it hasn't been four days, you're not ready for God to show up. All right. 
You're not ready for him to show up if it hasn't been. Now let's go to Mark right quick. And then we're going to come back because I need to say something to you. Right after we look at Mark, I'm going to say something to you that the Lord has spoken to me today. Mark chapter 5. Let's go to Mark chapter 5. Jairus prays for healing for his daughter. We're going to start at verse number. I think we're going to start at verse number. Let's see. Let's start at verse number 21. And we're going to go between verse 21 and verse 43. Let's just deal with these. And let's look at this for a minute. <clears throat> when I pray, I need to give God time to move. And prayer, if I'm really praying, say if I'm really praying. If I'm, I'm really praying. If I'm really praying, God will bring a peace to me. He will reveal something. Listen, God will bring a peace to me that I can say, you know what, Lord? I'm not going to rush you in this matter. Whenever you're ready to move, move. Mm -hmm. Whatever you have to do, do it, and I'm going to be all right. Mm -hmm. That's what prayer will do for you. It will get you to the place to where you're okay with God taking his time. Mm -hmm. Because watch this. First of all, even though you think you want God to rush and do it, you really don't want him to rush and do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You want God to take his time. Watch this now. We start in Mark chapter 5, starting at verse number 21. Look what it says. Mm -hmm. And when Jesus was passed over again by ship unto the other side, much people gathered unto him, and he was not unto the sea. And behold, there come one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name. And when he saw him, watch this, he fell at his feet. Say so he's praying. He's praying. Because watch this, he done took up the right condition, mm -hmm. position, and posture. Mm -hmm. So we know he's praying. Mm -hmm. Listen, wise family. Verse 23. And besought him greatly, saying, My little daughter lies at the point of death. Now watch this. She lies at the point of death. She's not dead. Mm -hmm. right? right? Why not? Why not? I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she may be healed, and she shall live. So watch this. He's in the right condition, position, and posture, Reverend. Watch this. And he got the right level of faith. He said, I know if you come and lay your hands on her, she will be healed. And she will live. Uh-huh. Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 24. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him and thronged him. And watch this. A certain woman. Now, in the midst of his prayer, he didn't pray. And watch now. I, I, I need y'all to pray with me right here so you get this. Watch now. He, he, didn't, he didn't pray this prayer. Watch this. He's got the peace that God is with him. The presence of God is with him. The presence of God has showed up. Break from the John right quick. So we get the revelation right here of prayer prepares me. Okay. Watch this now. He prays and he that he gets a sense. Now we see that Jesus says something to him. Right? Say it's me or you. It's me or you. We're, we're, we're not J. Iris and we're not there with Jesus. But the same way that he got the, the peace that he got in the situation, we can get to because we got the spirit of the yeah. Son of God in yeah. us. Yeah. And, so, and so if I pray, believe in what I pray, guess what? I know that when I move, he's moving with me. Because all I got to do is believe what I pray without doubting, and I'll have what I pray for. It says right here, while, he's, while Jesus is moving, look, he's the Spirit of God is moving. Say that for me. The, the Spirit of God, God is moving. moving. Watch this now. Moving. But in the midst, in the midst of the Spirit of God moving, something happens. Mm -hmm. what, wait a minute, Lord. What just happened? You just said you was going. You just said you was going. Walk with me, David. You just said that you was coming with me. You was going to do this for me. Hold on, man. I am going to do that for you. Just because I'm doing something for somebody else don't mean I'm not going to do for right. you what I promise I'm going to do for you. Come here, somebody. Mm -hmm. All right. So in the midst of God doing John, he's supposed to be doing for Jay Iris, he do something for somebody else. So there's a delay. Mm -hmm. I need some help right here. Okay. So there's a delay, Reverend. There's a delay, but the delay don't mean denied. Watch this. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Now watch this. Jesus says, I'm coming to heal her. Now watch this, but before he gets there to heal her, watch now, in the delay, watch, we're going to read that the daughter dies. Uh-huh. Uh-oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Let me not get ahead of myself. 
Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 25 says, A certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years, watch this, and had suffered many things, many positions, and had spent all that she had, and was not better, but worse, but, 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 but rather grew worse. Now watch this. While we're talking about things grew worse for her after all the positions, she said, watch this here. There are things that are growing worse for J. Iris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Y'all praying with me. Yeah. Things are growing yeah. worse for J. Iris. But watch this, though, now. Watch this, though, now. Do I believe, do I believe that God is not going to do what God said? Because things get worse. Watch this. Because it appears that things are getting worse. Mm -hmm. And God allow it to appear that way to see where your faith is. All right. Yes. All right. It don't necessarily mean it's worse, John. God just allows it to look like that to see what your faith is. Come on, sir. Mm. Watch this. Can I help you with this? Abraham, I want you to take that boy and I want you to. Mm -hmm. I want you to take that boy and I want you to. I want you to sacrifice him. Yep. I want you to sacrifice. Now watch this, David. Wait a minute. You just blessed me with this boy. Now you want to take him from it. It appears that things are getting worse, but it's yeah. not getting worse. Right. It's actually getting better for him. Right. Come on, pray with me, David. And so he takes him up there. On their way there, the boy asks him. He said, Papa, Daddy. Yeah. He said, listen, now, I see the fire. I see the wood and the knife, but where is the sacrifice? And watch what Abraham say. Watch this. God himself shall provide the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. So even in the midst of it, even in the midst of it, he still, he still finds a way to gather his faith up and believe what God said is still what God said. Right. Because it's same worse, Reverend. It's oh, same yeah. worse, but it's not. It's actually said. better. Yeah, I got to believe what he said. Because God is making it look like that to show him where his faith is. That's right. Who do you love the more, me or the boy? That's right. They get up on top of Mount Moriah. He sets everything up, ties it down, sets the fire and everything. Lifts up the night, and when he lifts up the night, watch what, how powerful it is, David. When he lifts up the night, the boy is already dead. That's In right. his heart, that boy gone. That's right. Yeah. Before he yeah. lifted the night up, something yeah. like that boy yeah. dead. That's right. Yeah. He just gave that boy up. That's why when he lifted the That's night right. up, God stopped it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Because the yeah. boy was already gone. I wish yeah. I had a, the yeah. boy was already gone. And that's right. what God is wanting us to be. Wow. That's right. It looked like it's worse, but it's really better. Let's see where you are right now. We walk by faith, not by sight. Come on, mm -hmm. sir. He said, don't harm the boy because I see now that you love me more than the boy. Yes. There's a ram caught in the thicket. Get it. Get the ram. Sacrifice. Watch this now. Watch it now. Watch it now. Because just like here, Reverend, just like here, family, just yeah, like right here, here, it appears because she's talking about how things grew worse. While she's talking about how things grew worse, things are getting appear to be getting worse for Jairus. Mm -hmm. But watch this. I didn't pray the prayer. Yes, I have. And prepare me what? Prepare me. Come me. That's right. Yeah, that's right. In, in, in the midst of it, in the midst of God doing other things, and it seemed like there's delay in God answering my prayer, the prayer has prepared me to be able to wait, Reverend. That's right. That's right. So, okay, it's, okay, so it's a delay. It, that's okay. That's God right. already told me he's coming. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. That's right. He didn't tell me what time he was coming, what day he was coming, but he did tell me he was coming. And because he's not a man, he should lie. If he uh, say he's coming, he coming. That's right. That's right. Pray for me, y'all. Watch that's this right. now. Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 27. Mm -hmm. When she had heard of Jesus came in and pressed behind him and touched his garment. Watch this. For she said, if, if I may touch but his clothes. That's a prayer. I shall. This is a prayer. This is prayer. Everything. Yes. All of this is prayer. Yeah. And so her prayer prepares her. Watch this. I, I may only get close enough to touch his clothes, but that's okay. Yeah, that's me. enough. That's enough. That's enough for me. I don't need to hug him. He ain't got to kiss me. He ain't got to <laughs> hug me. He ain't got to spit on me and make mud and all this. If I can just touch the hem of his just garment. Just the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Watch this now. Watch this now. Verse 29. Uh, verse 29. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, She's and okay. she felt in her body mm. that she that that she was healed of that plague. Now watch this now. Watch this now. It's important that we see that because watch this, Elaine. If 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 I don't if it don't uh <laughs> it don't if I don't come to with my five senses, uh -huh. it didn't happen. Right. Yeah. Didn't happen. Mm -hmm. 
Watch this now. Verse 30. And Jesus immediately knowing in himself that, that virtue had gone out of him, turned him about uh, in the press and said, who touched my clothes? That's Watch right. This. It's important now. It's important now because he said, if I can touch his clothes. Uh-huh. All right. So much is here. So he let us know all was touched was his clothes. Come on, sir. This was the prayer was. This was the prayer. If I could just touch, put to him his garment, I'd be his clothes, I'd be fine. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. So she touches. Now, what thank you, Holy Spirit. I will say this. Now, watch this, John. But just like, thank you, Holy Spirit. I love you for this. The Holy Spirit just said to me, he said, now watch this. He said, well, this was for J. Iris, too. It, uh, this was right, right, oh, right, 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 right. He said, right. this was for J. Iris. He said, because uh, I need for J. Iris to see that I am a healer on the way to On the way to the He need to see it. That's he right. need to see it, John. Yeah. And so on the way there, watch right. this now. Jesus already knew in his sanctified mind mm -hmm. that that report, that negative report was going to come. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so he had to see that healing for the one with this blood, and he had to see how God was going to handle her. That's to keep his faith. That was to keep his faith, Reverend. That's right. I think the, the amazing part about it is this act that Jairus gets to see it's not like some of the acts that he that other people got to see where Jesus either laid hands or spoke and, exactly. people, got, and people got healed. Exactly. Right. right. Exactly. Then, then he watches as Jesus just on his way to do what he's gonna do for him. Uh, exactly. and somebody right. just got close enough. Exactly. And and, and, and what he does it reveals the level of power that Jesus mm -hmm. was was actually operating in. Yeah. So now he's like, oh, so this is what I'm really working with here. Because this, watch, is who I, this is who I really came to. Hmm. Because watch, the, watch, watch again what you gotta see. Watch the revelation here. Watch this now. He see a touch. He asked for a touch. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. The very thing he asked for, he got a chance to see that in action before Jesus even got to his house. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he said, I know you come and touch my daughter, she'll live. Mm -hmm. And he sees a touch. He sees mm -hmm. a touch, John. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guess what that did? That was supposed to boost his faith and say, you know what? I came to the right one. That's I came right. To the right mm -hmm. one. Because That's even good. here, when you he went in and petitioned. Mm -hmm. We see no petition here. He didn't see a petition here. Look what the lady showed it. Right, no, but no, he no, saw he healing it. happen. Yeah. Exactly. Because it was made, it, Jesus had to make it known. Exactly. That right. healing had happened. What? Whether you saw it happen exactly. or not. He says, who touched me? That's who right. Who touched my clothes? Right. That's to let him know that there was a touch just happened. That's right. And, and he says, Bertrand left his body. He knew Bertrand power left him. That's right. Oh, this is so good to me, y'all. <laughs> yes, sir. And then, and then, uh, you, you, uh, I mean, I would think that the the revelation that he also would have got was, even though you say like he he see a touch, he asked for a touch, he realized he didn't even need a touch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Right, because he wanted Jesus to come touch. His daughter. That's right. And, and Jesus action. never touched this woman. She exactly. Touched, she touched that's right. Him. In like, oh, exactly. wait, wait, oh, oh, that's right. 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 <laughs> I mean, who, right. who, who, who's to know? Who's to, who's to, who's to say if you know Jr. is having to say, okay, wait, hold on. What if I just touched exactly, Jesus? Exactly, sir. What if I just touched yeah. him and then? Yeah. I run back to the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing though, man. Because mm -hmm. because I mean we in Bible study, right? And so God is God is really God is really revealing yes, some things to us. He layer by layer, he's revealing things to us in the situation mm -hmm. right here. Right? Mm -hmm. So so watch this now. Watch what verse 31 says. Okay. Verse 31 says, And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee. And say thou who touched me? How you doing, man? He said, Who touched me? Yeah. Now now watch this now, watch this now, watch this now, watch it now, watch it now. They don't see the touch. All, all they know is he said who touched. Right, right, right. Right? right, right. Okay. Right. So whether they saw it or not, a touch took place. Right. And watch this though, but they don't understand the touch. Right? They don't understand the touch. See, the, the, the way the other people was touching him wasn't the same way that she touched him. Right, mm -hmm. right, right, because watch this, thank you, Holy Spirit, watch this. They are touching him like groupies. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. He's somebody famous, he's some celebrity, they just want to say they touch Jesus. Right, right, right. right. But it wasn't what, because they had no faith in nothing. Mm -hmm. They just wanted to be able to go back home and say, Guess what? Guess what I touched. That's right. That's it's right. like getting an autograph. That's all. It was just like getting an autograph. And it's it, it, it just that. like the other ones, Reverend, who found him. They weren't finding for miracles. They were finding for fishes in the load. 
And this is why they didn't receive anything. That's why they didn't receive anything. It makes me think, you know, when you look at the difference between her and them, they wanted a touch. She needed a touch. She, exactly. Come on. I will supply all your needs according to my yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly. right. Well, that's right. You exactly. know what I mean? So it's the, <laughs> the operation and the, like you said, the place of each individual was, was completely different. Completely different. It was, it was complete, completely different. It appeared to be the same thing happening. Right. But it's totally it's different. different. Because the motive is wrong. There you go. It's the why we want the touch. Why, that's the why. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Again, somebody want one, somebody need one. Mm -hmm. Well, he said, I'll take care of the need. Yeah. And then you see need, you got to look at the position of the folks right now. It's a, it's it, We see a physical position in the story. Really, but, it's a, but, it's, yeah. but, it's yeah. a, but it's a spiritual position exactly. that it represents. Exactly. She was humbled. She was submitted before God. And everybody else, they was on. Oh, they were all in the Yeah, they, was all, they were all stood up and you know on, yeah. on his level mm -hmm. as opposed to being you know submitted. because he was just another man a famous man to them they didn't heard about him. he's a famous man so they just dealing with the flesh right. she's in the spirit because she's prayed there's a scripture talk about how she's prayed if i could touch mm -hmm. just to him and his god right so it had nothing to do it had nothing to do with her just being out there that day yeah. Just being a part of the crowd and just looking at what's going on. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm out here because I have a need. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes for me to get the need met. Mm -hmm. Because you got to think about it. Remember now, first of all, she's bleeding and she's a woman. Right. Mm -hmm. So she has no business out there. Yeah, she right? unclean. Right? Because what she did was she put herself in position to be stoned to yes, death. Yes, she did. Right. Yes, she right, did. Right. And so she was willing to sacrifice for the touch that she needed. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. She wasn't being disrespectful. She wasn't right. being disrespectful. She didn't go out there, watch this here, to, to interrupt what he was doing. Mm -hmm. She said, if I could just put touch to him, it's going to. Here's where we miss it at. And a lot of people want to paint this picture for us that the garment and the hem was a shawl that he wore. Mm -hmm. No, sir. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. She had to literally, listen, she had to literally be under the radar. She had to really be low enough to touch the him. You mm -hmm. got to understand, he was, listen, Jesus re was regarded as a priest. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Regarded as a Rabbi. priest. And so Jesus wasn't walking around with shawls on, though. Jesus had on a priestly garment, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he had on a priestly garment. And though they want to make us believe, Jeff, that he has some shot on now the the tassels, I haven't seen the thing that they talk about, but yeah. that's not what it was at all. Mm -hmm. She was not upright. That's the wrong posture for her to be, and she would be recognized. She couldn't be in that posture. That's right. Mm -hmm. So she had to be in a position low enough where nobody could see her. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do this. That's to right. Mm -hmm. She had to be in a position low enough to where she couldn't be detected, and the only person who could detect her was the one she touched. Uh -huh. That's right. All right. All right. He said, I felt the touch. Mm -hmm. That's right. Somebody touched me. No, no, not like this. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Somebody fake touched me. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what drew the power out. Oh, wow. And so look at all that she was willing to do to get her touch. I don't want to interrupt what's going on. I'm not out here to be seen. I'm out here to get my need met and whatever I That's have right. to do. To get that to happen for me, I'm willing to do that. That's right. And, and so she couldn't be, she wasn't saying at all. What I want to say is that in both of these situations, the woman with the issue bud and Jay Iris, uh -huh. they didn't realize they were operating in faith. They, they really didn't. The bottom line was that you have to think, because we were talking about before about being in emotion, right? Uh -huh. They were so they, they were so moved though, at mm -hmm. the point to where they did have a need to where now, I, I done heard about this man. They didn't realize it was really faith that they were operating in. Uh -huh. It's just the fact that they had a need. Right. And it was considered a desperate need. It was. Okay? Uh -huh. One that, as we said, was dire. Uh -huh. And they knew that this right here was only hope. Yeah. The only hope that they had. Mm -hmm. And so, now, we, we, we tend to teach that hope and faith is the same thing. No, because no, faith not. has an object, uh -huh. okay? The hope thing with mm -hmm. them, though, even though Jesus was the object, they had not got the full revelation of who he was. Right. It was the fact that I heard something, mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna move on this. Right. So faith come by hearing. Right. So now Hold they done heard. Correct. They right. done heard something. So faith coming by hearing. So what they heard it caused them to move. Right. They didn't even realize they were in faith yet. Right. But we'll see that Jesus had to make the declaration exactly. for them to realize where they were. Exactly. Exactly. So so watch this now because as, as we look at what goes on in 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 the in, in verse number thirty three. Uh huh. And he said, watch this, verse 32 first. And he looked around about to see her. Now, now notice now, notice what it says. He looks around about to see her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what it takes me to, John? Take me back to the highway out there. When I was walking down that highway. Mm -hmm. and, and Bishop said he turned around because he saw me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now look now, look now. He, he, he said, and he looked around about to see her mm -hmm. that had done this thing. That's right. So he wasn't looking for everybody. He knew, he knew, and watch what he said in verse 33. But the woman feared and trembled, knowing what was done in her. Watch this now. First of all, she feared another reason, John, because I've been recognized. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. I come out here to get healed, and I'd have walked up on my debt. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Knowing what had been done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. That's right. Watch this now. Now I'm here. And he said unto her, Watch this, daughter, thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace, watch this, and be whole of thy plague. That's right. Now watch this, John. This is a whole nother teaching. I'm going to slip this in, Jeff. Watch this. It ain't coming back. Look what he said. Look what he said. He said, Thy faith, thy faith. Now watch this now. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, Jesus, who is faith, becomes her, her faith. faith. Come uh -huh. on, sir. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. he, he becomes her faith now. The measure of faith that's been given, faith he faith. becomes her faith. Watch this. And because she believed that he could, now all of a sudden, his faith, because the scripture said it is his faith, is the faith of Christ. And so now all of a sudden, he says, now it's not just my faith, it's your faith. That's right. Now, your faith done made you whole. Your That's faith right. done work for you. And this is what we got to do. Why, Tanya? Let our faith go to work for us. That's right. And, and it will. What, what's always true to was also showing me, right? We talked about, you know, the teaching where, or, where you know, the Holy Spirit showed us that Jesus, you know, is faith. And, yes. now, mm -hmm. and now what you're saying now about how Jesus became her faith. Uh -huh. um, another thing we have to understand about faith is faith, what is faith like? Because people can have, you know, faith in their chairs or faith in their vehicles, whatever the case may be. Well, what is it? What's the difference between true faith and this faith that other people have? What's well, what we believe about Jesus mm -hmm. and how we and how we view Jesus, and, and I, it, that's what makes it so powerful for them. Mm -hmm. What did they believe about about Jesus to where they could get what it is that they got? Because it mm -hmm. takes you back to the other scripture that talks about how. Jesus couldn't do miracles in these other places because, right, because of what they thought, faith. what they believed about him. Right, right, right. Oh, he just is the carpenter's son. That's right. You know, they believed that there was something more to him exactly. than just even even his priesthood. Uh -huh. You see what I'm saying? They yeah, believe yeah, 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 yeah. what is what do what do we believe about Jesus? That's what what makes our faith. What we actually believe about about Jesus. Now watch the, and watch what we got to understand. You can't benefit from something you don't have respect for. Right. Mm. Mm. You can't benefit from something you have no respect for. That's right. Right? Because they had respect for him. They had respect for who he was. Mm -hmm. They could benefit from the power in him because of the respect they had for him. From the anointing. Right? You don't, if, 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 you don't, if you don't have respect, I, I made this statement one time, and I, and I said, pray for me. I said, because I'm going to say something to you that, and I, don't, I, I want you to think that Bishop wants you to call him Bishop just because. When God anointed me to be a preacher, I had the anointing for a preacher. Uh -huh. He called me to pastor. There was another anointing put on my life to pastor his people. So if all you had respect for me as was a preacher, all you could benefit from me from was the my preacher's anointing. anointing. That's right, correct. Right, right. Once I become a pastor, if you have respect for me as a pastor, now you can have you can have you can benefit from the pastoral anointing that's on my life. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Watch this. You can benefit from the counseling. Mm -hmm. You can benefit from the care that I give. Mm -hmm. You can benefit from it. Watch this. So when he elevated me to bishop, that's a whole nother anointing now. Mm -hmm. 
So, if you want to benefit from the bishop's anointing, you have to respect that office that I hold. That's right. right. Jesus, when he said he could only heal for so many because they didn't believe, they, they didn't have respect for him. They talk mm -hmm. about people from his hometown. Right. Mm -hmm. People right. from his hometown. People who saw him only as the carpenter's son. Right. And supposedly knew him. They couldn't him. benefit from him because he's just a Isn't he Joseph and Mary boy? Yep. Ain't nothing to him. He ain't nobody. Uh oh. No respect. Mm -hmm. Can't benefit from it. Didn't so watch this now. J. Iris had respect. Mm -hmm. I, can I go out on this limb and tell you the rich young ruler didn't have no respect right. for him? Yes, he did. Right. He didn't have no respect for him. Mm -hmm. So he couldn't get what he went and asked for. That's right. So he walks away sorrowful because he had no respect. Couldn't mm -hmm. humble himself. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Wow. Watch this now. Verse 35. Verse That's 35. Why he yet spake there came, watch this, from the ruler of the synagogue's house, uh, uh, certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Uh -huh. Why troubled thou the master any further? Uh -huh. Y'all see this, right? But here's what prepare prepares you for. Prepare, it prayer prepares will prepare me. you. Listen, prayer will prepare you for whatever negative report comes and keep you in yeah. the faith. Right. Keep me in perfect peace. Yeah. It'll keep you in faith and perfect yeah. peace. Why this right. is? No, no, that's what man said. I know what God said. Ah. You said she did. Watch this. If she really dead, why would Jesus keep continuing to my house if she was right? That's right. Why go to my house if she's dead? That's right. If you can't do nothing, why continue the journey if you can't do nothing? That's right. Can't help. You can't help me. Watch now. Watch now because this is important. It is. Verse 36. As soon as Jesus heard, heard the, the word. word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, the watch end. this. Be not afraid, only believe. That's right. Be not afraid, only believe. Watch this. In other words, don't forget what I told you. Did y'all get the text God had me to send y'all today? <laughs> don't forget what I told you. He said, tell them I have not forgotten. Y'all oh, oh, yeah. Amen. Amen. He said, tell them I have not forgotten what I said. Uh -huh. He said, but the question is, have you forgotten That's it. what I said? All right. Yep. And then he had me go back to Jeremiah 29 and to talk about the word expected. Again. And give the definition of it again. Again. Mm -hmm. He said, be not afraid. What did he say? Only, Only believe. believe. Yes. Watch this. And he suffered no man to follow him, say Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. Mm -hmm. And he came, watch this, and he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue and see the, the uh, tomb of and them that were weeping and wailing greatly. Mm. And when he was come in, he said unto them, watch this, why make ye this ado and weep? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. Become disrespect again. Watch this now, watch this now. And they laughed him to scorn. Yeah, disrespect. Is. Yep. But when he had put them all out, put them out. he takes the father and the mother of the damsel, and they that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. Y'all see that? Watch what it says. Mm -hmm. And he took the damsel by the hand. Why is this important? Because J. Iris said, if you could come and touch my daughter. That's yes. right. Yeah. All right. So guess what God don't do? He's not going to come and do something you didn't ask for. Mm. <laughs> God right. don't do extra. Mm. Come on, Bishop. Whatever you ask for is what God is going to do for you. Why? Because that's what you ask for. How do I know God moved, Johnny? Do what I asked him for. So watch what he says. Then. Watch what he says. Come on. Watch what he says. Watch this. Verse 41. And he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her. Watch this now. He don't talk to nobody in the room. He takes the damsel by the hand and he says to her. To leave the cool man, which is... Be interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Get up, little girl. Arise. Watch this now. Why is the word arise important? Because that's a commandment mm. that speaks to the body and tells the body to do what he just said. Hallelujah. Right. The girl right. has no, listen, the girl has no control. He got to speak to the body. Mm. That's right. Mm. Arise. The one with issue of blood, watch now, he don't touch her. He deals with her issue. It says her issue dried up, Reverend. Yeah. Notice he's, he's precise. He's precise. He's specific with what he's doing. J. Iris said, could you come and lay your hands on my daughter? 
he lays his hand, grabs her by the hand to leave the cool man. I say unto thee, watch this arise. Verse 42. And straightway the damsel arose. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all see this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And walked, for she was of the age of 12 years. Come on, sir. And they were astonished with a great astonishment. Watch this. And he charged them straightly that no man should know it. And commanded that something should be given her to eat. Uh -huh. Now, I done did my part. Now, y'all do y'all part. Mm -hmm. I done raised her up. Mm -hmm. okay. Now, give her what her body needs. That's right. I done gave her life. Life is in her body. But I need you to give her some nourishment for her yes, Lord. body. Yes, Lord. Watch now. Watch now why we have to go here. Because here's what the Lord said. He said on Sunday. Mm -hmm. He said on Sunday. He said, notice what I told y'all. He said, I told y'all to get ready. To run. Get ready to Watch run. this now. He said, I told y'all to get ready to run for this reason right here. This is what the Lord told me. He said, tonight when you go and teach the people tonight, he said, tell the people it's time for them to get an answer for their prayers. Hallelujah. All right. All right. All right. He said, y'all yes. been praying. I told y'all to prepare. He said, and y'all been praying. He said, but it's now it's time for you to get an answer to your prayer. So I told you to prepare. Watch this. He, told, he said, I told you to get ready to run. Mm -hmm. I told you to get ready because it's time for your answers for yeah. your prayers. Ooh, hallelujah. Oh, yeah. don't hallelujah. Yeah. Amen, Amen, Lord. Thank yeah. you. He, he said, I told y'all to get ready to run. He said, because it's time for the answer to your prayer. So when I give answer to your prayer, you got to be ready to respond. Mm -hmm. That's right. Gonna be a win. Watch that, David. Yeah. Watch now. I'm not telling you to prepare no more. I'm telling you to get ready. That's Go right. get ready. That's right. Do what Go you need get to ready. get ready. You got to possess readiness. Mm. 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 Remember that. He said, You got to listen. He said, You got to do the things that's going to cause you to, to possess the condition, the position, posture of what? Readiness. readiness. Talk about readiness. Watch this now. Watch this now. He said, time for the answer to your prayer. We're going to be through in just a minute. But there are a few scriptures I need to read to you so you understand what God is saying. He said, now, now it's time to hear back from God after you pray. Oh, I love this. Ah. He said, time for you to hear back from God after you pray. So be still. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, have mercy, yeah. That's why when God had you to send that text message out today. And after I sent that text message, he started confirming he gave me three videos, John, to confirm what I sent out. Three videos. Thank you, Lord. To confirm. I wasn't looking for none of them. He just sent them to me. Just sent them to me. Hear and obey. Hear and obey. Expect something to happen. Expect it, he said. Mm -hmm. Then he sent this video where it talks about what's where it talked about excel. Well, he gave me the word acceleration this morning. And so I, I saw a video where it talked about, the lady talked about speed. What is that? That's acceleration. Of course. Mm -hmm. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this, man. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 33 and 3, please. We ain't going to be much longer. We ain't going to be much longer, but I, but I got to do this for you. Y'all know I got to do this for you, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Jeremiah. 33 and 3. We familiar with it. We familiar with it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Look what it says. Call unto me, and I will, what he say? And I will answer, answer thee, thee, and show you what? Great. Great, Great mighty mighty thing. Thing. which thou you know not know is not. not. Okay, 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 okay. I love that. Notice what he say, notice what he say, John. He I said, call that. unto me, and I will what? I will answer, answer you. Mm -hmm. I will answer you. I will answer you. And so he told me, John, he said, I need you to tell them, I told them to get ready to run because it's time for me to answer now. Thank you, Lord. Thank it's time you, for Lord. the answers yeah. to come now. Mm -hmm. Listen, though, watch this. Here. You get ready positions you so that you can hear God. Mm -hmm. I need you to get yourself together. Get your mind and your head together. Mm -hmm. Get your mind and your head together. That's good. That's good, sir. So when I answer you, you'll notice that you can see the answer because you know I said, I said, I'll do a new thing and you not know it. Yeah. I'll answer your prayer and you not know it. Why? Because you're not focused. Come on, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because your mind on other things. Mm -hmm. You're not focused. So he said, get ready to run. No, we're preparing. He mm -hmm. said, I need for you to establish your position of readiness. 
the posture of readiness. So when I do, when I do answer your prayer, watch this here. You're in position to see the answer. Amen. Watch Lord. this. Watch this, Reverend. Watch this. That's okay. Psalm 34 and 6. Let's go there. Psalm 34 and 6. Psalm 34 and 6. Because it's time for the answer. Oh, I love this right here. I love this right here. He says it's time for the Listen, listen. Watch Jeff. What he said. He said expect. That word expected means watch this. The thing long for. Yeah. Oh, Lord have mercy. Yeah. The thing long for. That thing that's been long for. He said watch this here. He said I, I, I'm ready to answer. I'm ready to answer. That means he's ready to bring that thing to pass. Woo. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the thing here that I long for. Here it comes. How is, it that I, how is it that I get a position to make that thing happen, though? I got to acknowledge him in all my ways. Mm -hmm. I got to obey everything he said and walk in faith. Watch this now. I tell you that all the lessons are intertwining with each other. They are. They all yeah. coming together. They all coming together. Watch this. We in Psalm 34 and 6. Mm -hmm. yes, he said, this poor man cried and the Lord did what? Heard, heard him and saved him out of all of his trouble. Thank you, Lord. He wow. heard him and saved him. That means he answered him. That's yes. right. Yes. He did something. That means he answered him. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord. The question is, are you ready for your answer? Yes. yes. Are you ready to move when the answer comes? Yes. Boy, I had a shout at me earlier today that scared Jonathan. He looked at me. But I had him. I had to let it out. 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 It was in me. I had to let it out. He said, I need you to understand. I need you to understand. Let's go to Genesis 15, 1 through 6. I need you to understand it's time for the answer. You didn't pray. And so now it's time for the answer. Genesis 15. 15. <clears throat> Genesis 15. I got to give you some of these before we go. One through six. Um. Amen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I got an expectancy. You, you, you. Listen, I need you to expect. I told you it's time for the answer. John, I read it for us right here, man. I read it for us right here. <laughs> now it's time to hear back from God after you pray. It's time yes. to hear back now. Yes. Oh, yes. I love this, Reverend. He says it's time to hear back now. Why did you say, I didn't ask you. I told you what was going on, but I didn't answer you when you wanted me to. But I'm telling you now it's time for you to get an answer. Thank you, Lord. But I need you to be in the right condition, position, and posture so yeah. that you can. All right. Please don't let things and people cloud your mind to where you can't hear God. Amen. Just like that report came, John, to J. Iris, I'm telling you right now, as sure as my name is what it is in the office I hold, Reverend, somebody going to try to give a negative report contrary to what God is saying. Mm. Mm. We're in Genesis chapter 15, 1 through 6, y'all read? Amen. Because the Lord promised Abraham, he promised him. Watch what he said. Verse 1. After these things, the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I Amen. am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. And Abraham said, Lord, watch this, God, what wilt thou give me, seeing I go childless? And the steward of, of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold to me, y'all see this? Behold to me, thou hast given no seed. And lo, one born in my house is my heir. Verse 4. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, What happened now? He answered him. That's yes. right. Yeah. This shall not be, oh, I love this. This uh, shall not be thine heir. heir. But he. But he that shall come forth out of thy own bowels shall be thine heir. Thank you. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now toward heaven. Come here, somebody. Look uh -huh. toward heaven. And tell the stars, if thou be able to number them. And he said unto him, so shall thy seed be. Wow. Yes. Watch this now. And he believed in the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he Lord. counted him right for righteousness. Y'all see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why can he get what he's talking about? It's because, watch this, it's because he got respect for God. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. He prayed and God answered him. What is the time for y'all? It's time, time for to your get my prayer answer. Amen. It's time for your answer. Oh, I love this thing right here. I love this. I hope somebody out there in social media land is excited <laughs> right now. Because this is so exciting to me. It's time for your answer. You've been waiting for it. Yeah. 
Second Kings 20. Come on, let's travel in this word. Second Kings 20. I like that verse, man. Second Kings 20. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to start at verse number one and work our way to verse um, verse number five or so. Yeah, right about there. Watch this now. Hezekiah is sick unto death. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think this will be the last scripture. We're going to read verse one to verse 11. Let's do it, y'all. All right. Second Kings 20. Second Kings 20, verse one to 11. Mm -hmm. He gets the report. He gets the report. Hey, here's what we are. There's some issues going on. Get your house in order, because you will surely die. die. That's what he told him. You will surely die. Now watch this here. Watch this now. Watch now. If the Lord tarry, we all gonna surely. That's right. Go that way. Mm -hmm. Either I die to myself or I die to death. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. It's a point of the man to do what? One. And die. after that, the judgment. after that the judgment. So we all gonna die at least right. once, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Either with God or out of God. We in 2 Kings 20, starting from verse 1 to verse 11. This is what it says. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. Unto death. Letting us know right off the top he's sick unto death. Mm -hmm. How sick he All right. is. And the prophet Isaiah, the son of Amos, came to him and said unto him, Thus said the Lord, Set thy house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. Uh -huh. Now he turned his face to the what? Wow. To the wall and prayed unto the Lord, prayed, saying, Now prayed. watch this now, Come because on. prayer... Prepares me. It gets me ready. It gets yes. me ready, Reverend, yes. and it keeps me ready. It don't just get me ready, it keeps me ready. Yeah. Watch this, man, because this is good right here. It says, and he prayed. Because that's the thing to do. Why didn't he talk to the prophet? Because the prophet couldn't help him. Right. He's just a messenger. He's just a messenger. Mm -hmm. That's right. Right? His, he did what he was sent to do, yeah. and what he was sent to do was to deliver what? The message. The message. Watch yeah. this, y'all. Watch this Probably now, verse that. 2. Mm -hmm. And he turns his face to the wall, and he prays unto the Lord, saying, I beseech thee, O Lord, remember now how I have walked before live. Say live. live. Remember how I right. walked before thee in truth. Y'all see this? Yeah. With a perfect heart. Not perfect in without, without, uh, without wow. sin, but he's saying... I, listen, I, I might not have lived for my heart, my heart, my heart, my heart, my love for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Watch this now. I have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sorely. Verse 4. And it came to pass. What happened? It came, it came to pass yeah. before that yeah, Isaiah, watch this, was gone out into the middle court. That the word of the Lord came unto him saying. God answered. Now watch this. This is mm -hmm. God answering the prayer. All right. Yes, mm -hmm. And it didn't take him all day to do it. That's right. Watch this now. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. And so the word of the Lord came unto him saying. Verse 5. Turn again and tell Hezekiah. Wait a minute. What you say? I say turn again and go tell Hezekiah. Turn around. The captain of my people, thus said the Lord, the God of David, my, thy father, I have heard thy prayer. What prayer? Did he say, John? He said, I have heard your prayer, and, and I have answer. seen thy tears. Ah. Behold, I will heal thee on Hallelujah. the third day. Thou shalt go up unto the house of the Lord. Verse 6. And I will add unto thy days 15 years. Wow. 15. Oh, this is good. And I will deliver thee and this city. Out of the hands of the king of Assyria. And I will defend the city. For my own sake. For my own sake. Mm -hmm. And for my servant David's sake. Why David said Because of what he promised David. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Watch this. Verse 7. And Isaiah said, Take a lump of figs. And they took and laid it on the on, on the boil. And he recovered. That what happened? Wow. He recovered. recovered. What does that mean? That means he answered the prayer. He said, I'm going to heal him. And what did he do? He yeah. healed him. Yeah. Verse 8. Verse wow. 8. And Hezekiah said unto Isaiah, What shall he, what shall be the sign that the Lord shall heal me? Come on, man. Now we gotta go there. Watch what he says. What shall be the sign that heal me? And that I shall go up into the house of the Lord on the third day. Here's go, here go uh, Isaiah. The sign shall thy have of the Lord that the Lord will do the thing that he has spoken. That's how good that's is it. that? That's that's it. This is the sign he's gonna do what he spoke. Shall the shadow go toward the, the 10 degrees 
or go back 10 degrees. Hezekiah saw, I mean, Hezekiah answered, yeah, as a light thing for a shadow to go down 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. Nay, but let the shadow return backwards 10 degrees. Come on, verse 11, sir. Verse 11. And Isaiah the prophet on, cried unto the Lord, mm -hmm. and he brought the shadow 10 degrees backwards, by which it had gone down in the dial of Ahaz. Ahaz. That's good, sir. Mm -hmm. now, now, notice this. Notice this, family, as we close. Notice this. Everything that God said, God has done. Now, now, what we got to understand, if because God is no respect of person, right? If God done it for one, and he said he'll do it for you. All right. Okay, so what he having to say to y'all? He having to say to y'all, I haven't forgotten you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. What I Thank said you, to you, uh -huh. I'm, y'all don't want to do yeah. to do you. He Thank said, you, what Lord. I said to you, I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. But here's the question, did you forget what I said? Uh -huh. And do you believe it? Do you believe what I said? Yeah. Did you forget what I said? Because what is, if you remember what he said, you'd be excited right now. Uh, <laughs> I said, if you remember what he said, it'll bring you to excitement. Yeah. That's right, sir. Because our God is not a liar. Mm -hmm. He can't lie. Listen, listen, listen. He said, what is going to be the sign that you're going to do what you said? <laughs> that in three days I'm going to rise up and be healed and go into the house of the Lord. He said he's going to do the thing he said. That's what your sign is. Uh-huh. <laughs> But that wasn't good enough. Okay, let's take care of this dial right here. Can you take this thing 10 minutes? I'm going to ask you. That's right. Ten, I'm going to set a free side. I'm not, I just can't walk in Come on, get I'm going to make you do some kind of dog and pony show. Mm -hmm. Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. No, no. Why can't I just be like the centurion? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So never word. Word. Yeah. Word. Just speak a word. Yeah, just, speak a word. word. just speak a word. Just speak a word. Mm -hmm. That's good, Bishop. Mm -hmm. Just speak a word. How come, you, how, how come we got to make God do tricks? Yeah, why? Why? It's because I don't have no respect for him. And our faith is lame. I don't yeah. have no respect for him. That's okay. I know y'all don't believe me. <laughs> I know. It's okay, though. I do respect God. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't keep making God have to prove himself to you every time he... Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Delay don't mean denied. That's Delay right. means I want to show you where your faith is. Yeah. That's right. It's on me. Let's yeah. uncover your faith. Let's unpackage your faith right quick. Because, see, if you put your faith to work, things will come quicker for you. Mm. Amen. Amen. They'll come quicker for you. Mm. Let your faith work. Every time Jesus prayed, who is faith, it didn't hesitate. There was no delay. The only delay that we see the delay when he, 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 he stayed from Lazarus. But two more days. <laughs> where he was, two more days. He just stayed right there. Wasn't concerned about Lazarus. He stayed right there. When it was time for him to go, he moved. And when it's time for God to move for you, he's going to move. He said, all I need you to do is have some faith and believe what I said. Do you remember what I said? Thank you, Father. Thank you. Do you remember what I said? Mm -hmm. He said, this is the year of great expectation. Yes. He said, the thing that you have longed for. Ooh, I love this. Mm -hmm. He said, the thing that you have longed for, he said, this is the year that I want to make that happen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. This year I want to make that happen. Yes. I believe. I want to make that happen for you, but I need for you to expect it. You to expect it. That's right. Now that I've told you, it's time for you to get oh Lord, every time get an I answer. Every time, I, every time I say something, I'm going to do something funny. I'll be just mm -hmm. something funny. Yeah. Do something now. funny. He said, now that I've told you, it's time for you to get an answer back from your prayer. All right. I need you to be in the state of ready. Need you to be in the state of ready. Let me tell you what I believe. I believe when this thing really kick off, it's going to move swiftly. It's going to move swiftly. It's going to move swiftly. Yes, sir. And God is telling us the thing he's telling us because he's not going to wait on us. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's not That's going right. to wait. I have told you to prepare. I've been telling right. you for months to prepare. to prepare. And stay ready. He said, now I'm telling you get ready because you're dragging your feet. You're uh -huh. procrastinating. I'm telling you to get ready now. And right after I told you that, I come along and told you the time for you to get an answer from your prayer. That's to motivate you. That's to motivate you. Stay ready. Stay ready. 
Because in the hour that you least think he's coming, that's when he's coming, family. That's when he's coming. That's good, sir. This is going to calm down a little bit now. Well, we're at that place. We're at that place. We're at that place in our Bible study, in our service. To a bishop want to help you get into the right place. Want to help you get into the right condition, position, and posture that you need to be in. There are some of you who are not believers, and I hate to be the bearer of this news to you. A lot of people have told you that you can pray. Unless you have a relationship with Jesus, you can't pray. John 9, 31. For we know God here is not sinful, but those who love and want to do the will of the Father, those who want to hear him, that's just one. That's the scripture. The other one is, God only hears the prayers of the righteous. We may not like it, but the truth makes us free. But there are some things that you got other people praying for you for. God want to make those things happen. God wants you to be able to be able to talk to him and communicate with him. And so I want to help you come into a relationship with him. <clears throat> this is called the prayer of salvation. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, When man confesses the mouth of the Lord Jesus Christ and believes in the heart that God raised him from the dead, he shall be saved. With the mouth we make a confession of salvation, but with the heart we believe unto righteousness. Anybody who calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. It's not just about the prayer. It's about the life that God has for you to live. So I'm not telling you if you just pray a prayer, everything is going to be all right. No, you have to be sincere in the prayer, mm -hmm. believe unto salvation, and live a Christian life. Notice I didn't tell you to live a perfect life. Because you have to work out your salvation. Not to get saved or to stay saved, but to understand what the salvation life is about. So here's the prayer we want to pray together. You pray it out of a sincere heart. Life as you know it is going to change. And God is going to begin to lead you in all the right places and the right things. Here's the prayer. Father God in heaven, I surrender my life to you today. Yes, Father. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. And I repent of my sins. And I receive and accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my personal Lord and Savior. Yes, Father. To reign and to rule over my life from this day forward. Father God in heaven, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will fill me with your Holy Spirit that now lives on the inside of me. Teach me how to obey your commandments and walk in your statutes. And Father, I promise yes, with your help to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. Amen. amen. Come on, say my God. Amen. 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 We celebrate the decision of believing in the Lord Jesus Christ. Here are a few things I want to advise you to do. Tell somebody to give your life to Christ today. Allow the Holy Spirit to lead you to a church. To where you can serve him and worship him in spirit and in truth. Then go get baptized. This is how we share the death, burial, and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. If you need any information, if you have any questions or comments you want us to address, leave it in the comment box and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. We have some new children we'd like to send you to help you on your new journey as a, as a new believer. There's some things that you need. God's going to put some people in your life to help you walk this Christian life. You're not going to be able to do it on your own. You're going to need some help. And the body of Christ is here to help you. Father, we thank you for each and every person who decided to walk with the Lord Jesus Christ today. Thank you so very, very much for waiting, for being patient and waiting on us. We give you glory, we give you praise as we lift them up in prayer to you today. God, we know, we know that there, there's going to be some, some losses because there's some changes that's going to be made in their life. But everything they lose is going to be replaced with something better. So we thank you so very, very much for the new family, the new friends, and all the things that you have set aside and purpose for each and every one of them. I 
pray for each and every household that's viewing our Bible study tonight. Yes, Lord. Breathe on each and every family. Take care of each and every marriage, each and every child. Watch over and protect. We pray strong his protection around each and every child. Protect him from all predators. We give you glory and give you praise for it. I ask in the name of Jesus that you would move expeditiously on whatever the greatest need is in the house. You are our Jehovah Jireh, our great provider. Thank you ahead of time for being the provider and the protector. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, Lord. Thank y'all so very much again for viewing. We hope that you will be with us come Sunday during our worship time. Until then, may God bless you. May God keep you. It's our sense of prayer for you. Bye-bye, friends.